Hello, internet. Um, it's me again. <laughs> so I'm going Christian or Sarai. Um, and I'm continuing with my All Hallows Dream project. The project, it's actually the 1st of October today in Australia, so technically it's not early. Um, I'm going to try and get in a couple more before um, Halloween actually occurs. So, and I'm going to try and have something really good for uh, Halloween that I'll post up on my Halloween. So it will be there for, for your Halloween. Um, today though, I am reading the first page of a fantastically edge of your seat thriller book by Nikki French called The Land of the Living. Um, I really love crime and mystery novels. This one really got me though. Like I was scared for her at times and I like, yeah, you know how in the back of your head you know that the heroine's not going to die, but by the same token you're like, oh my god, she's going to die. Um, it really felt like that for me and I was really, I, I loved it and I really loved the psychological aspects of it. So I do highly recommend this novel if you are in for a really edge of your seat um, read. It's not traditionally scary, but it is very suspenseful. So, first page of... Nikki French, The Light of the Living, best 50 cents I ever spent. So, darkness. Darkness for a long time. Open my eyes and close. Open and close. The same. Darkness inside, darkness outside. I'd been dreaming. Tossed around in a black, dark sea. Staked out on a mountain in the night. An animal I couldn't see sniffed and snuffled around me. I felt a wet nose on my skin. When you know you're dreaming, you wake up. Sometimes you wake into another dream. But when you wake and nothing changes, that must be reality. Darkness and things out there in darkness. Pain. It was far away from her and then closer to her and then part of her, part of me. I was filled to the brim with hot, liquid pain. Although the darkness remained, I could see the pain. Flashes of yellow and red and blue, fireworks exploding silently behind my eyes. I started to search out for something without really knowing what it was. I didn't know where it was. I didn't know what it was. Nightingale, farthingale. It took effort, like hauling a package out of the water of a deep, dark lake. That was it, Abigail. I recognized that. My name was Abigail. Abby, Tabby Abby. Abby the Tabby. The other name was harder. There were bits missing from my head and it seemed to have got lost among the missing bits. I remembered a class register. Oster, Bishop, Brown, Brian, Cassini, Cole, Daly, Devereaux, Eve, Finch, Fry. No, stop. Go back. Finch? No. Devereaux, yes, that was it. A rhyme came to me. A rhyme from long, long ago. Not Devereaux like box, nor Devereux like shoe, but Devereaux like show. Abby Devereaux. I clung to the name as if it were a life ring that had been thrown to me in a stormy sea. The stormy sea was in my head mostly. Wave after wave of pain rolling in and dashing itself against the inside of my skull. I closed my eyes again. I let my name go. That was the first page of The Land of the Living by Nikki French. Um, just a brief sort of synopsis -y thing. Um, the blurb is kind of a little bit spoilery in parts, so I'm not going to read it out. But, um, Basically, it, it's about a woman named Abby Devereaux, um, as you've heard, and she has been taken um, by someone. And, yeah, 
it's basically about her fight for survival and figuring out what happened and trying to convince herself she's not crazy in the face of evidence that she may be. So yes, it's a really good read. I highly recommend it. And yeah, I hope you're having an awesome day, guys. Again, please, please, please recommend books to me, um, whether you want them read on YouTube for like a little snippet of them or whether you just want me to pick them up. I'd really love that. Um, I'm currently reading Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett and I'm loving it and I can't believe it's taking me this long. And it's only because Terry Pratchett and, and I just had a moment. Not literally Terry Pratchett, just like his work. I think, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's a long story, but I'm really excited about reading it and I love it and I'm looking forward to starting Discworld relatively soon again um, and hopefully I'll be in a better headspace for it. Um, I don't really have much else to say and I'm kind of rambling, but I hope you guys are having awesome days and reading because reading is amazing. And I will see you guys next time.